What's up YouTubers? Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your T-Mobile G1 in order to gain access to features that are not currently available on your phone when you buy them from the store. This tutorial only works for people living in the US and then the UK so if you're using what's called a Continental G1 this jailbreak will not work for your handset. As you may know, jailbreaking your phone involves exploiting a security hole that existed in the early versions of Android. So the first thing we need to do is downgrade to an older release of the phone by clicking the link below the word downgrade in the description box. However, before we do this, we need to format the SD card to what's called FAT32. So we need to connect the G1 to the computer via USB. Then from the phone, select connect to USB in the notification bar, then tap mount, then go back to your computer. Now that we're back on the computer, the first thing we're going to want to do is click Start and go to My Computer. From there, we're going to want to find the removable disk in which the information from our SD card is stored. Mine's usually removable disk F, but that may vary for you depending on what you have plugged into your USB port at the time. Right click on your removable disk and select Format. From the Format window, you'll need to scroll to where it says File System and change the format from FAT to FAT32. As you can see, mine's already on FAT32, but once you've changed the format to Type 2 FAT32, you'll want to go down and hit Start. Doing this will erase all the data saved on your SD card, so if you want to save your pictures and your music, it should be done prior to completing this step. Now that you've successfully formatted your SD card to FAT32, we're ready to downgrade and get jailbroken. So what you need to do now is click the link below the word downgrade in the description box and save the file to your desktop. UK users use the ERC7 link. USA users click the ERC29 link. Remember, download this file to your desktop. Once you've downloaded the file to your desktop, you'll need to extract it because it is a zip file right click on the file and press extract all extract this to your desktop now you'll need to drag the dreaming nvh file to your newly formatted SD card again if you're in the UK it will be named dreaming 7 but do the same and save it to your SD card so now that we've placed the dreaming nvh file into our formatted SD cards what we should do now is safely remove the USB cord from the G1. From your desktop, press Start, then My Computer. Then find the removable disk in which the information from your SD card is located and right click on it. Except this time, instead of clicking Format, click Eject. This process should always be done before disconnecting the USB cord. Going back to your phone at this time, I'd like you to press the power button that will display your power options menu. Press power off, then press OK. Now that your phone is off, I'd like you to hold down the power button and the camera button. If you're not familiar with the camera button, it's easily identified because it has an engraved camera etched into its surface. If you've held down these two buttons correctly, you should end up at a gray screen asking you to press the power button to start the image update. Once you've pressed the power button, you should see a notification saying update in progress. Once it's finished updating, it will say update complete, update successful, press action key, which on this phone, it's your trackball, so press the trackball. You will now see a rainbow screen and at this point you must remove the back casing from your phone, take out the battery, then put it back in place and proceed to turn on your phone as you would normally. Now that the phone is rebooting, you should reapply the back casing at this time. And since we've successfully downgraded to an older version of the Android platform, we'll need to reactivate the phone with our Gmail account. This will automatically sync calendar events and your contacts so you won't have to add them back manually. Simply follow the on-screen instructions until you get back to your home screen. Once your default home screen pops up, mount your G1 via USB, then return back to your computer. Now you'll need to download some files from the description box in my video and save them to your desktop. So click on the link under the words Recovery IMG and save it to your desktop. Then, when it's finished, click on the link under the words Hard SPL and also save it to your desktop. Both of these particular files will work for US and the UK. 
After the hard SPL and the recovery image finish downloading, go back to your desktop and click Start. Then click My Computer and open the removable disk in which the information from your SD card is located. There you will see a Dreaming NBH file we previously used to downgrade, and at this point, right click and delete it. Now, what I'd like you to do is drag the two files that you've just downloaded to your desktop and save them to your SD card. Those file names being update, which is a hard SPL, and the recovery image file. Unlike the first file we placed on your SD card called Dreaming NVH, we do not need to unzip the update or change the recovery image file in any way before dragging to the SD. They should simply be placed on your SD card as is. And after the files are saved on your SD card, I want you to safely unmount by going back right clicking on the removable disk in which your information is stored and instead of pressing format press eject now disconnect the USB cord from your device and go back to your phone from the main screen of your G1 press menu tap the settings icon scroll down to the applications manager and tap the unknown sources box then tap OK this will allow your phone to install non-market applications. Now press the back button and navigate back to your home screen. At this point you will need to navigate to your applications and tap the Android market icon. Follow the simple on-screen instructions to set up the market and once in the Android market I'd like for you to tap search, type Telnet and once you've located the Telnet application download it and when it's finished press back and navigate to your home screen. Again from your home screen, I'd like for you to power off your phone. After your phone shuts off and you've turned it back on and returned to the main screen, I want you to open your keyboard, press the enter button on the keyboard, and type Telnet D, and then press enter again. Notice when you type this you are automatically navigated to your contacts, and although it seemed pointless, doing this allowed the Telnet application to communicate with your phone and this is also the sole reason we had to downgrade in the first place. When you're finished, press the home button, navigate to your apps, and open up the Telnet application you previously downloaded. This portion of the video is the most important and is also the final steps towards gaining root access and jailbreaking your phone, so please pay attention and follow these steps carefully. Now that we've opened the Telnet application, I want you to press connect to server and if you successfully get connected you should see a number of question marks and a string of commands divided by boxes, a pound symbol at the end, and a text entry box below. If at this point you get an error message rather than seeing the screen of question marks then you follow the step incorrectly. What you'll need to do is turn off your phone and repeat the steps for typing Telnet D into your main screen. Assuming you've connected correctly from this screen you'll need to type in the commands as follows if you type in a line incorrectly you'll get an error message just try again on the next line so here we go first type ID into the text entry box then press enter now you'll need to type in a chain of commands followed by pressing enter for each line type the first line and when you're finished press enter type the second line and when you're finished press enter type the third line and when you're finished press enter Type only the command lines located inside the boxes. Press the enter button after completing each line and when it's finished you may exit from the Telnet application. If for any reason you are unable to read the three lines of command, please look for it in the description box of this video. Congratulations, you are now jailbroken and have root access to your G1 device, but we'll need to complete a few more steps before we can update to a current version. Now I'd like for you to watch Jailbreaking Your G1 Made Easy Part 2 because unfortunately I wasn't able to fit the entirety of the jailbreak process in one video. So please close the video and watch Part 2 at this time.